Hey guys, today I want to do just kind of a quick read for you guys on a backpack blower by Makita. Um, more specifically, the model number is EB7650WH. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on it, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents. Just kind of based off my experience with it and let you know what I thought about it. Um, I should also mention real quick too, I actually found a pretty good deal on this blower. And I'll put a link below in the description to that deal so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So what do I think about this backpack blower? Um, well, in short, I really like it a lot. Um, I think for the money, if you're looking for a very good quality backpack blower, this is the one to get. I'll talk a little bit more, a little bit more about why I think that. One and probably the most important thing is the power that this thing has. It has a very, very strong 3.8 horsepower commercial duty engine on it. Um, it blows extremely, extremely hard. To get some figures uh, for you, it has 670 cubic feet per minute of airflow. That's a lot. Um, just to give you an idea, the blower that I'm coming from was a Ryobi, uh, uh, just a standard uh, 24 volt outdoor blower, like the ones you can get at like Lowe's, they're about 80 bucks. Um, that has a CFM rating of about 70. This is 670. So it's like almost 10 times as much air that it moves. You don't really think about that, but this clears debris like so much faster and so much more efficiently than that thing is. That thing's like a joke compared to this thing. Um, Airspeed of around 200 miles per hour that this thing can put out. Like I said, it's extremely powerful very commercial duty. The main reason I actually got this one, it was for leaves and stuff, but a lot of people don't think about this. I was actually looking for a snowblower and a snowblower, at least for a decent one, is, you know, four to $500. And I was reading a lot of guys talking about that they use these backpack blowers as snowblowers because they have enough power, they have enough air that they blow, that they can actually blow snow. So that was the big selling point for me, is now I don't have to buy a snow blower because I have this thing, which will get rid of all my leaves, all my grass clippings, and it'll also do my snow. And it's so much easier to blow snow with this thing than it is to even use a snow blower. Now, it does bog down maybe a little bit if you get like three feet of snow or something like that. But for 95% of the snowstorms that we have, um, this thing works great. Completely gets rid of it uh, so much faster, so much easier. Works great. Um, it's very fuel efficient too um, for being as powerful as, as it is. Uh, it just basically just sips gas really, really slowly, which is nice. It is a Makita, uh, so you know the quality is, is going to be there. Very good quality, very easy to start. Starts on the first pull every single time. Fairly loud, you might want to get yourself a pair of uh, ear protection. Um, not a bad thing to be using anyway. Uh, but yeah, really like this thing, highly recommend it. Um, if you're looking for a really, really good quality backpack blower, uh, this is the one to get in my opinion. For the money, it's the best one out there. Anyway, if you guys have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, and have a great day.